All right, so just picking up on the van where we left off last week. Uh, Sunday today actually again, but cracking on with the van. Uh, so you guys know the black areas on the two cars are slightly different. The Audi is wrapped. BMW is a hypershift, um, so it goes from blue to purple to gold to bronze to all sorts actually as you look around, but it's very subtle, so in the shade it still looks black. And we're doing the van slightly differently again, so I've got it into my head that I decided I wanted to go with a black metal flake. Uh, which is a, it'll look good, <laughs> it'll, look, it'll look really great actually, um, but it's an extra process again because it needs to be flow coated. So we have to do this one slightly differently. Uh, I'm not going to explain the full process now, but essentially the plan is to get the metal flake on the areas where I know it's going to be, or roughly mask that out in any case, which does include the rear courses, obviously front wings, um, bumper as well, uh, to a certain extent. So we prep the bumper to a certain extent, just this, this corner here is where it's going to go to. Uh, I'll get that metal flake on there now, clear coat it, then basically we'll have to sand that back down again, um, mask up what's then going to be red over the top of that, and uh, spray the red, flow coat the whole lot, so re-clear over the black areas which we've done, because metal flake basically stands up, um, I'll show you after I've, I've painted it today, but it basically stands up underneath the clear coat, so it, it, the, the clear buries it, but obviously where the metal flake sits um, acts as a tiny, tiny little high spot. So it, it gives a rippled, sort of gritty effect on the paint. Um, you can sometimes get away with polishing it, but I've gone with quite a coarse flake on this one. Not nearly as coarse as you can, uh, but it should be a fairly decent effect. But yeah, like I said, basically we need to flat the clear down afterwards uh, and then flow coat it with another coat of clear over the top. So it's just the way to do it this, this way around. Uh, black first, mask it off, paint the red, uh, flow coat over the whole lot then. So yeah. I know it doesn't look like it, but this one we've got three days or so before it needs to be all back together and ready, uh, before it goes off to the sign writers and get the servicing work and all that side of things done. So up against it, but we'll crack on, see how we go. It's hard to see behind my smile I'll say whatever you want Let you walk in on my heart If you want to Right then, got the masking on the black, so we are ready for the next stage. It's been a bit of a tricky one to mask actually this one, um, got the striping masked out. But obviously being a van it's completely different to the cars, so it's, it's just, it's not going to follow the same lines exactly. Um, and the stripe on the front is actually going to be quite narrow. Uh, I think I've got it just about even, as best as possible. It's also, it's really difficult to see that everything's parallel. It's all very well saying um, measure everything and, you know, line it all up. I'll be honest, striping and everything like this, I very often do it by eye. Um, you've got all the different contours and body lines and everything going on with the van and the various different shapes going on on these, these vehicles. Uh, you can line things up 
as best as you possibly can. You can spend hours and hours and hours um, measuring it all, and then you come to do the striping, and it just doesn't look right. So I do tend to do these by eye as best as possible. But I'm also limited for booth space, so I can't stand back to see exactly what's going on. So it is another one of those situations, just kind of hoping for the best, really. Um, it's always been fine in the past. <laughs> That's all I can say. So just, yeah, just hoping for the best. You can probably tell from my voice. I'm not hugely confident in quite a few things that have happened with this van, to be fair. Um, but hopefully it's all going to turn out okay. It's just a bit of a, been a bit of a tricky job. Um, it's the time pressure, really, that uh, doesn't help things. But there we are, ready for the next stage. So wet on wet, into colour, take the masking off, clear the whole thing. And um, yeah, see where we're at. All right then guys, just another quick update on the van. Um, down to the wire as I thought it might be. It's been several late nights this week. Um, late night again tonight, and then a six o'clock in the morning start tomorrow. We're both coming in early, smash out the last bits. Tomorrow is the last day that I have uh, to do this van before it goes off to the sign writers and for its servicing work and all that side of things. So quick rework on the door and flow coat. Uh, there's a couple of areas on the rear doors that I wasn't too happy with. Um, so we're redoing those. Just a really quick job though. Um, all masked up, ready to go. And then we still have, as you can see, all the trim pieces, front bumper, um, grills, striping on the rear quarter section and the side door, obviously because of the, the way that things have been done there uh, with the different colors going on. Um, just lots of little bits and pieces now, door handles, all that stuff now. So it's quite a fiddly job actually, and there's five different colors to go on on all these as well. So as if I'm not making things complicated enough, 
uh, five different colours going on with all of this stuff. Um, so lots of masking work and stuff in, in between as well. Obviously we've started off, so we've masked off the metal flake on the front bumper. This follows the stripe down from the front wings. Um, then I'll spray the wet on wet on all of these parts. Uh, mask off again for the areas which are black, which is going to be bottom of this here. Um, part of the spoiler up there, a lot of the trim pieces, um, mirrors and everything are going black. Front piece there is going green uh, to match the other two cars. Uh, it's a job remembering what I'm doing myself at the moment, but yeah, basically red first, wet on wet, red, um, and then mask off the black areas apart from the metal flake, which is different again. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but we'll see how we go. Should be fine, like I said, last day tomorrow, so we're coming in early to get these parts. These are the last remaining parts. We'll get these sprayed first thing in the morning. Um, and then we'll be reassembling sorry, the van for the rest of the day. So I think at this stage, guys, uh, I will update you as the weeks go on. But obviously, Max Power Reunion now is, what's uh, a little bit over a week away? Um, the van is most likely going to be a gun finish now, so I don't think we're going to have any time to do any polishing work on it whatsoever. We'll get rid of a couple of the nibs and a couple of the imperfections, but it's most certainly not going to have a full flat and polish. Um, so if you do happen to see it at the show, it is a gun finish. It's not a show vehicle at the end of the day, it's a van. Uh, I keep saying that. Um, it's, it's going to be a very nice looking van, uh, I think. <laughs> but, but it is a van at the end of the day, so it's certainly not a show vehicle. Um, yeah, not going to say too much because we'll have to see how it goes. But it's been a bit of a push. Uh, last little push tomorrow, one more day of everything. And then, yeah, hopefully I have a good update at the end of this video for you with it all back together.
quick end of the week update then guys um, finished the van last night at about three o'clock in the morning uh, we were in at seven in the morning um, doing the paintwork the last few bits and pieces ended up finishing at three but it needed to go off to the sign writer so that was the clip that you saw the last time was it going off to the sign writers now um, and then it's going over for some servicing work and everything and then it'll be back for all the polishing and a few bits and pieces if we get a chance to do that uh, I hope we have some time left to do that, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, it's all done. A uh, bit of de-stress now. That's finally gone out of the shop now. Um, so we're back on to everything else we've got going on. This one's just having a, a rear wing fitted. So we've had to do quite a few modifications to this. I didn't really capture it on the footage there, but it, it's meant to be just bolt-on. It absolutely isn't, unfortunately. So we've had to change and modify a few things, but uh, it's going relatively smoothly. Obviously, we've just drilled out some new holes. Um, we will tidy all these edges up and everything. We've epoxied it as well, just for corrosion resistance as always. Put a bit of sealant in there, bolt it down, a um, couple of rubber, rubber grommets, uh, make it all nice and neat from the other side as well. But yeah, the holes are drilled, so it's ready to go. Last little bits of the van done then. Uh, we've been messing around with carbon again, just can't help myself. Uh, I've gone for a red carbon, decorative red carbon on this one. So mirrors and bonnet all done the same way. Um, just to repeat myself as well guys, this is not a service that I'm going to be offering to, to customers, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, frankly, we're just not good enough at it. And also I don't think this is going to be a lasting thing, honestly. It's nice to, to mess around with things like this. Have a bit of fun, uh, make things look nice for the short term. But I am saying it's the short term. I've had a lot of advice off Alan Bryson, um, AB Carbon. He does absolutely phenomenal work. Uh, so give him a follow on Instagram, guys. I don't know if you watch this yourself, Alan. But um, yeah, he does carbon the right way, you know, with prepreg. Spends thousands of pounds on materials and everything. Whereas we're just messing around with skinning, which is obviously not the proper way of doing things. Um, I have been warned as well that this is potentially going to fail in the future. Delamination, all that side of things. Um, don't know, so we've done everything that we possibly can on this one in terms of the baking, uh, post-bake, we've, we've had it through a cycle, um, it's been in the booth several times on bake, um, and it's been out in the sun baking as well before putting the clear coat on. Uh, I'll be honest, it has come out the best of all of the ones that I've tried so far, but it is still full of imperfections. Uh, but I think they're about as good as we can get them, you can see it here. You can see the parallel lines running that way, and I will point things like this out because I've got nothing to hide. Frankly, I, I keep saying I'm, you know, that I'm not a carbon expert. Um, I, as far as we're concerned, that is basically imperfections in the manufacturing process. They're all absolutely parallel to each other, uh, and you can see it as clear as anything. If you hold the weave up, if you hold the carbon cloth up before we lay it down and everything, you can see it night and day. Uh, you can see straight through the weave. Um, so it's. It's effectively it's as good as we can possibly get it. So I actually am happy with this one. Very pleased with how it's come out. To be fair, uh, by far and away the best one that we've done. Um, but like I said, it's still full of imperfections. There's still things to improve on. Uh, but I think realistically we've got it about as good as we can possibly get the actual skinning process now. It's it, you know it is fake <laughs> in some respects. This is not a part which is going to save weight. It's actually going to add weight if anything. Uh, but it's purely for cosmetic reasons. And for that reason alone, I think it does the job really well for us and what we want. And it's good that I'm doing it on my own vehicles as well, because we can have a look and see if that is going to fail you know, in future, further down the line, um, and see where we go from that side of things before I potentially think about offering some smaller parts and bits and pieces in the future on that basis and that basis alone for customers. Uh, like I said, I've had so many comments and so many people asking me, um, but it's just, it's not even something that I can consider at this stage because we're just not good enough at it. Um, but yeah, it's good fun for now. Uh, and it's, it's going to make the, the uh, van, actually, and then this is the van bonnet. It's going to make everything look a little bit different, isn't it? So yeah. Anyway, guys, I've rambled on enough, as always, in these YouTube videos. But that's just a little update on the van bits and pieces. It's off with sign writer now. Um, and then straight on to get some servicing work done, hopefully. We are on schedule now for all three cars being at Max Power Reunion Show. Um, next week's video is the one that you'll know for definite if that's happening or not, but everything is progressing in the right way. Can't see any reason why it won't happen. So once again, guys, if you've made it this far, thanks a lot for watching. 
Um, any suggestions for future videos, always drop them in the comments below. And yeah, we'll catch you next week. Hopefully see some of you guys at Max Power Reunion as well. All right, take care everyone. Speak to you soon.